Hey everybody, I'm here in my office. I got a big box in the mail today. It's a new tool, new toy. It is a Lulzbot Taz 5 that's going to replace my my Solidoodle 2. Good old Sterlybot has finally uh, <laughs> become a little dated and is getting an upgrade. I'm going to be putting it out to pasture. My pasture is probably the shed. And this is going to be taking its place in my office. Um, obviously it's just a box right now. So I'm going to open the box and uh, set it up on the desk and let you guys watch. All right, here we go. This thing weighs about 43 pounds right now. And as you can see, I have not yet cut into it. I've resisted the urge all day at work because it arrived to my office. But here we go. All right, first thing, unpacking instructions. Very thorough, <laughs> as well as a quick start guide, looks like. Put that aside. Now, move it back here. Foam. Lots of foam. Up top, accessory box. So we get a uh, little packing slip, power cord, filament, filament guide, SD card, and the user manual. Oh, don't forget the uh, sample octopus that was printed on the machine. Also a USB cable. Put that aside, we will need that later. Now, over here is the hothead. This is a TAS-5, so it comes with the hexagon hothead, which is the new one, uh, capable of 300 degrees Celsius, so I'm told. Very excited. Put that over there. On this side, we have a power brick. Pretty big one, but not as heavy as you would think. It's plastic. That out of the way, put this in the desk. Okay, uh, next up is removing big pieces of foam. It's very well packed. And we'll start seeing, seeing some cool stuff. So, the uh, well, first of all, toolbox. Lulzbot actually includes a very, very nice toolkit. Uh, everything you might need, the brand new set of hex wrenches. These are probably nicer than the ones I actually own. Uh, an X-Acto, a pair of tweezers, some measuring tools. What is that? A little dental pick type thing. Small brush. And that's not all. Other side of the toolkit is a pair of needle nose and a very nice bed scraper knife. So great kit, probably everything you'd need to 3D print with. Um, and a nice little tote bag to boot. Put that in my drawer. Okay, now the hard part. A little more foam. lightweight considering, but it is built very, very well. Carefully remove the top foam. From what I understand, the x-axis should just lift out like so. Carefully bring that up.
take this out of the bottom here. I should just lift up. And there we have it. Unboxed. Now, assembly goes a little something like this. We will be bolting the X-axis, X it's hard to say, into the machine a little bit later. But for now, this is where we're at. I'll give you some more pictures when uh, I have it all set up in here. Really awesome connectors. Not sure how well you can see those. But they uh, plug in and then screw on to make sure it has a really good connection. Uh, it's not necessary, but I, I like it a lot. I think it's a really good touch. Do a little pan motion for you. You can see the base of my octopus printing right now. Excuse me, rocktopus. It's a big machine. I'll put a hand in here for you. So there's my hand. The build volume is almost a cubic foot, so it's it's large. It's one of the largest printers you're gonna find. You can see down here, we have the first octopus that I printed out. This was the first print I made on the machine. I believe it's made at the printer's highest resolution settings, but you can see it's pretty good. Um, right out of the box, didn't have many problems with it. I just leveled the bed. I probably want to mess with the Z-axis a little bit more, but I'm really, really happy with it. That's a nice print, especially for the first one I've ever done. Come up here and you can watch it work for a second. It's laying down the first layer right now. But adhesion is really nice on this new print surface that they have, and the uh, the hot end is great so far. Heats up really quickly. I'm enjoying it. I like this, uh, it's probably gonna be a little bright, little control panel, very helpful. You can see I switched over to sil silver filament now. I purchased this with the Taz. Uh, first print after I get everything calibrated. It's probably going to be another Destiny hand cannon. Um, I did this one on the Sterlybot, the Solid Doodle 2, which I've moved over here. Might look a little different than what you're used to because I built an enclosure for it, but that's my first 3D printer, my baby. It served me well. But this is its new bigger brother. And as you can see, it's going to be a lot easier to print a hand cannon on this one because I won't have to split it up into nearly as many pieces, which is always a good thing. So, so far so good. I really, really like it. Thanks for watching guys. Check back soon. I'll have some 3D prints for you on my Facebook page. Later.